Oh, hey, sweetie. Nice to see you here. Your performance is spot on today. I did well, too. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for that. But hold those lovely words in your mouth for a second. I kind of want to sit down first. My legs are in pain. <sighs> Sorry, sweetie. Didn't mean to silence you there, just, you know, I'm too tired. Am I feeling all right? Well, certainly I am, but I'm quite tired already. And I'm afraid that I can't accompany you tonight. Look, sweetie, I'm sorry. I know I did promise a date with you, but it's been too much of a workload for me already. I'll make it up to you later, all right? Thank you for being so thoughtful of me, dear. Oh, you'll escort me home. Oh, sweetie, you're making me feel sorry for you. A date back home? <laughs> That's one way to do it, I guess. Oh, thank you, dear. You've made my day already. So once we're finished changing out of our costumes, let's go to the outside door and meet there, okay? <laughs> Great. See you there. Hi, sweetheart. So, I'm counting on you to escort me home now, my personal knight. <laughs> Where do I live? Well, actually, it's not that far away. Just... Huh? Huh? No, I think I just felt something on my hand. Is it? Oh, no. Oh, quick! Get under some cover! Ah, great. I forgot to bring an umbrella. Do you have one? Oh, you do? Would you mind if I... Oh, no, don't give it to me. We can use it together. The rain isn't that heavy, so I guess we can just squeeze ourselves under it. Do you mind? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't say no. So, shall we proceed with our journey then? <laughs> then forward, my knight. <laughs> And here. This is where I live. Thanks for guiding me here, sweetie. Your mission is complete, and your princess, which is me, <laughs> is safe and sound. Hey, sweetie. Be honest. Did you tilt the umbrella to my side? No wonder I didn't feel any droplets falling on my shoulder. Your right shoulder is soaking wet. Oh, silly, if you catch a cold, who will be protecting me then? So in order to keep you warm, would you like a cup of coffee or hot chocolate? Alright, then come in. And leave the umbrella on the rack, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's see how bad the situation is. Oh no, your shirt underneath is soaking as well. I know. Take off your clothes, now. Uh, I meant, just, um, I just thought I should give you clothes to change in. I didn't mean anything like that. I will get you some clothes, regardless. Just get in the bathtub already. And stop laughing, you idiot. Uh, hey, are you feeling better now? Yeah, I'll just leave the clothes out here. Take your time, then. Oh, oh God. God. I, I just, just invited, invited him to take a shower, shower by, by impulse. impulse. What should, what should I, do I do when he comes, comes out? out? Huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you calling me. I was thinking about something. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, you want me to take a shower so I can relax myself? That's actually a good idea. Sure, I'll join you. <laughs> um, I'll be right back then. Okay, when you go in, act natural. And just do what you always do. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Can you repeat yourself? I couldn't hear you. The rain caused a few cars to crash. How bad is it? 
Oh, no one got hurt, but the road is blocked. That's unfortunate. So, what's the catch? You can't go back. No, nothing. I'm fine. Uh, just let me think for a second. Oh god, does that mean we have to... Well, it would be cruel to chase someone out, right? Okay, it'll be fine. Just head out and act chill. Hey, sorry that I kept you waiting. I think the solution to that car crash problem is you could stay for a night? No, don't pull out a stay night pun now. <laughs> but don't worry, I have a spare pillow and a blanket, and a sleeping bag, but you can sleep wherever you want. A uh, toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh, I have some from the hotel I visited. I hope you don't mind. You're good with that? <sighs> Great. Oh, sit down? Sure, but uh, could you move over a bit? You're kind of smack dab in the middle of that sofa. On your l lap? You gotta be joking, right? That's <laughs> really embarrassing. I can make it up to you this way, but... Uh, alright then. You're not gonna do anything weird, right? I only did this because I trusted you. Don't ruin my trust by doing anything stupid. Don't just mm -hmm me. I'm asking for a clear response here. Do you copy? <sighs> Thanks. Why am I sitting up so straight? Well, that's because some idiot asked me to sit on a place that is clearly not a chair, and that chair doesn't even have a place for me to lean on. What? No, I can't. It's not even a chair. How can I relax? And if you really wanted me to relax, then you should have- Hey! What do you even- Hey, don't. Don't hug me by the waist and pull me back. You scared me. And- And- You're a chair that provides me with protection and warmth. But it's- Just don't do any more stupid things, alright? Hmm. He's, He's actually, actually telling, telling the truth. The truth. <laughs> it, it is, is warm, warm here, here, and, and I, feel I feel quite, quite safe. safe. The, the scent. scent. Even, Even though we, we use the same shampoo, shampoo why, why does it, it smell, smell so different? different? It, it smells, smells so comfortable. comfortable. What? I, I didn't fall asleep. I didn't. Alright, fine. I did get a little sleepy. But that's because the cosplay event was very tiring. And your chest was very cozy to lean on. Hmm? No, I didn't say anything. No one has ever said the word cozy or lean on. You're definitely just hearing things. Hey, um, can I ask you something? Last time we went to the park, I never got to ask you the reason why. Why you like me. I know that love always doesn't come with a reason behind it, but I would really like to know if you actually have any reason. I promise, I won't laugh at you. Can you tell me now? I gave you the reason to live? And you felt needed when I found you? You think you're untalented and unimportant when your friends are shining with success and achievement. Oh, silly, you're not untalented. You're very considerate and sweet like cotton candy. <laughs> no, no, being kind and sweet is a talent. If it was really that simple, good deeds would never be a thing. You are very talented already. Look at this group that we're in. Many of them appreciate your suggestions for holding a cosplay party last week. We did that this week. This is where your talent shines. You're an attractive tub of honey pulling everyone together and strengthening the bond between us. See, love, you're not untalented. But sadly, there won't be using that tub of honey now, because it's my tub of honey, and no one can lay their hands on it without my permission. <laughs> and the fact is, I do need you. Without you, my life is probably still very miserable. 
Sweetie, no matter what time it is, you'll always be important to me. No matter if it's before, now, or then. I'll still need you. Do I love you? Of course I do. But do you? You haven't spoke those three words to me since our first date. You'll notify me if any changes were found? <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. I love you as well. But can you let go of me already? No. Fine. I'll be your one-day pillow, but just once, okay? Thank you.